My name is Anita Ratcliffe, and I helped build the robot, and I operated the arm and the hand. Um, I'm Killian Smith. Um, I helped with the building of the robot, and I also did the repairs during the competition. I'm Austin Powell. I built the base, and I also drove it. I'm Michael Stringer. I was the programmer. I set it so it would go forward when you press the little joystick, or <laughs> I programmed the autonomous so that it would do it without anyone touching anything. It would go around using a program called EZC. <laughs> And I'm Josh Kirkpatrick. I help build the frame that's holding up the arm, and I help con keep components and everything in order during the competition. The goal was you would take you pick up rings off the ground and put them on posts, or you can move the posts into designated areas. During the competition, our robot was designed to pick up hoops using this little claw action we have here. And the, the arm would pick them up, put them on the little posts. They had these little pylons. Had a big pole at the end of it. And if you could put the hoops on there, you would get extra points. And so we would hit. We were hoping we could get the hoops inside of this and put them onto the pylons. It didn't work out quite as well like that. But what we did manage to do is we pushed these big pylons into the designated areas where we were supposed to get them, and we could get extra points that way. And so that's actually most of our strategy was we would have a robot just push into the enemy's area. And this is also the control that we would use to move the arm and the robot itself. This one is apparently designated as the driving one that would control the wheels. And then we would have a separate person use these controllers to move the arm.